In this video, you learn how to use the new AI app builder Base44, whether you want to replace a SaaS tool or automate processes for your business, Base44's building potential is only perhaps limited by your imagination and your prompting skills. Today, I walk you through building a fully functioning shopping app using Base44, and along the way, we compare it lightly to Lovable AI and Bolt, two other popular AI app builders. This example is for people in dropshipping want to have full control over their website using AI or for small business owners who want to sell their physical products online but there are many more things you can do with Base44. But Base44 might just be the easiest to get started with especially if you don't have a technical background. Thanks to Base44 for sponsoring this video and now let's get started. Before we even sign up Base44 already feels familiar. Just like Bolt and Lovable there's a chat bar at the bottom with suggestions that can fill in prompts for you. This is a great feature for beginners. It helps get your ideas flowing, even if you're not sure how to word your prompt. After signing up, you can choose to use a prompt suggestion or just type in what you want to build. I got the prompt with the help of ChatGPT, build a modern scalable online marketplace called GlowBuy, where users can buy products from both individual sellers and businesses. The platform should have a sleek, user-friendly design with a landing page that prominently displays the name GlowBuy in an elegant, modern font. Key features, landing page, eye-catching, main page with a search bar at the top and popular items that are displayed on the main page, shopping cart and checkout. And we'll choose material design for the style. Once we send this, a new window opens, similar to other builders. On the left you'll see the task queue and on the right you'll eventually see the app preview once the AI is done building. There's also a discussion mode at the bottom where you can ask follow-up questions and even switch the AI model. You can also use a visual editor like with other AI builders. And after receiving the first output, we can see on the top bar a workspace where you can manage things like users. This is a big difference from Lovable AI where you need to integrate Superbase for back-end functionality. With Base44 it's already built in like an all-in-one system. Clicking on preview we see the first draft of our shopping app using material design. Now as we look at the first build you might be wondering about the app's flow. The landing page and the main page you see after clicking start shopping. It can seem a bit confusing at first so let's break it down. The landing page is where users first enter the app to get the first impression while after deciding to explore the products, users land on the main page where they can start shopping. There's an export option, the ability to share the app and even a toggle to see the mobile version. We've already got a solid landing page. Clicking start shopping takes us to the main page and we're logged in, even though I haven't set up an account yet. That's something we'd need to fix further on. Scrolling down, we can already add products to our cart. Clicking the cart icon shows everything we've added and there's already a checkout button. All of this from just one prompt. Clicking the top right button opens the sign in page. After signing up properly, I'm redirected back to the main page. Interestingly, I can return to the landing page by toggling between workspace and preview. Next, let's try something out and ask the chatbot the following. The sign up option should be on the landing page where users need to log in to access the main page. After logging out, users should be redirected to the landing page. And there it is. It's not exactly how we wanted it. After logging out, I'm sent to the login page, so we'd need to iterate with the chatbot a bit more. But of course, I could also skip the sign-in entirely and let everyone access the main page without signing in. When we go to checkout, nothing happens. That's where I'd add Stripe payments. I ask the chatbot how, and it tells me to enable backend functions. But this is only available if you're on the builder plan. If you want to dive deeper into it, check out the link in the description showing how to set it up. Exploring the workspace further, we can see the AI created product data and the order we've made. We can delete them, edit them, or just explore how the AI structured the backend. We can also take a look at the code that was generated now, it's important to point out that the data showing in our app right now is just fake data generated by the AI. If you want to add your real products, you need to go in and upload them manually. It's super simple and Base44 gives you all the tools you need to make that process smooth. Here's how you can do it. You can directly manage your product data through the back end of Base44. Here you would input product details such as names, descriptions, prices and images yourself. This approach gives you full control over your product data. Let's try to add a new product by clicking on this button. After typing in all the details, we can go back to the main page and here it is. 
at the moment without an image but as you can see we can already do a lot within the first minutes of building our own app. Base44 also offers integrations. I'll add another tutorial video link in the description below if you're interested in going deeper into that. Compared to Bolt you don't have the same level of control over the technical side of things. It probably would be more difficult to build a complex web app here. But on the other side you don't tend to get stuck with debugging or dealing with errors for hours. For non-technical creators this is a win. In Lovable you can build beautiful UIs with good functionality. Base44 on the other hand has almost everything built in with no required setup. So is Base44 worth trying? You tell me. I think if you're a solo founder or a person with an idea or someone who wants to automate a business process without writing code, then it should be worth trying out. If you want to try it out, use the code DAVID10 to get 10 extra credits and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.